Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can lock individual apps on your iPhone or iPad. Before I begin, hit that like button, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And remember, I'll be doing a giveaway at 4,000 subscribers. I'll be giving away two Amazon gift cards. All you need to do to enter is be subscribed and comment down below and let me know you want to enter the contest. So today's video, how to lock individual apps on an iPhone or iPad. The reason you may want to do this is maybe your child or student has an iPhone or iPad, maybe of yours, and they're playing games or they're, you know, just always on their device, always on their screen, or just always in a specific app, and you just, you know, you want them off. You want to kick them off. You want them to go do something else. This is a way to definitely help with that. So first thing you want to do is grab your iOS device and go into your settings app, which is the gear. Okay. Now scroll down until you see screen time, which is right here. So click on that for me. So if you scroll down, you'll have a couple options. You'll see downtime, app limits, communication limits, always allowed, contents and privacy restrictions, and use screen time passcode. So what we're looking for specifically is the app limits, set time limits for apps. But before we do that, we want to set a screen time passcode. So what the screen time passcode will do is if your child or student goes over a set amount of time in the specific app, they're going to be prompted for a passcode to get back into it. So if they don't know the passcode, they can't get back into it, the app and they can just give your device back or go to something else. So for this demonstration, we're going to just hit use screen time passcode. You can make a, any four digit passcode. So I'll do that right now. Retype it in. Now here, I'm going to skip this step, but what you would do is if you always wanted to remember your screen time password, you would just log in with your Apple ID and password and you would hit OK. Uh, for me, my passcode was easy, so I'm just going to hit cancel. So I'll skip that step. And then I'm just going to hit skip again. All right, so now that I have my screen password, screen time password set up, we're going to go to app limits, second one down here, and we're going to click on add limit. Set daily time limits for app categories you want to manage. Limit, limits reset every day at midnight. So we'll go to add limit, put your passcode in. All right, so here, iOS kind of groups, groups all your apps together. Um, so if I go to entertainment, if I click on entertainment, it shows all the apps that it would think it's, you know, entertainment wise on my iPhone. So you can do, you know, you can do a whole category. You can click on a category and do an individual app, you know, whatever you would like to do. So for me, let's just say, you know, I'm going to do ESPN. So if someone's been on ESPN way too long, you get off the app. So we'll click on ESPN, and we'll just hit next. So here we, we can set the time limit for ESPN. I'm going to set it for, you know, one minute. We'll do two minutes every day. So I'll just go back, scroll out of there. Now, it's already locked, uh, the ESPN app, because I've spent more than two minutes in the app today. So... If I jump back into screen time and maybe set it for screen time password in, maybe for three minutes every day. Okay, so it's still locked. So what it does is it remembers how long you were in the app before you put the lock in. So if I was in ESPN for three minutes before this, it remembers it somehow. So if I click on it, it says time limit, you've reached your limit on ESPN. I can ask for more time. I would just you know, enter the screen time passcode and I could just hit OK, which takes me back to the iPhone home screen. So just remember that if you spent time in an app and your parents or whoever locks an app, uh, it kicks on to how, how long you spent in that app earlier. So what we'll do is we'll go back to settings, go back to screen time, back to app limits, We'll take this off. 
I'll disable app time limit, go back, and then I'm going to turn off the screen time pass code. So hopefully that helped guys. That was just a quick um, tutorial on how to lock individual apps on your iPhone or iPad. If it's helped you at all, give it a like and hopefully this helps parents and teachers and, and all that good stuff. So give, smash that like button, comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to enter that Amazon gift card contest. Be subscribed, let me know you wanna enter and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.